Hi, this is video about vitamin C and L rising supplementation. So I try uh, to make my version of the video later on and uh, this is a very uh, quick uh, presentation, very short, uh, relatively short presentation, which was generated by chat GTP, GPT. Okay, so again, uh, it's quite helpful, I would say, it's quite helpful. The only problem is that it is compromised, it is uh, presents official viewpoint, so, but yet again, it takes few seconds to generate text, maybe a few uh, different prompts to use to get a little bit more in details, but it works quite well. So just again, I want to present some, some version what what I got from uh, this artificial intelligence and then later on I will um, present my own version which is quite, quite boring because I was going to into details, I was trying to understand how these uh, supplements work, why, etc, etc. Okay, so let's go. So first, uh, I ask uh, artificial intelligence uh, opinion, official opinion about the theory uh, presented by Linus Pauling and Matthias Rass uh, that uh, mega doses of vitamin C can prevent and cure atherosclerosis. And uh, this also was his idea about the, uh, the l lysine uh, to use as supplements of l lysine to improve, uh, to suppress uh, atherosclerosis uh, plaques. Okay, then official viewpoint <laughs> is such. So that, uh, uh, that's again, uh, uh, this noble scientist, true scientist by official viewpoint, they believe that uh, vitamin C could strengthen blood vessel walls and reduce plaque formation, atherosclerotic plaque formation. They also propose that the diet deficient in vitamin C could be a key cause of heart disease. This notion, however, has proven uncontroversial and is not universally recognized by the medical community. Indeed, indeed, what I say, no one test was done. No one since so many years, 30, oh, 30 years it was minimum, so it was so many years, no one test was done. There was test when uh, the recommended doses of uh, vitamin C, like 200 milligram, were prescribed to some people and they gave no effect. But Linus Pauling was talking about mega doses. Mega doses are uh, 3 gram, it is the very minimum uh, every day, but uh, if it gets to improve conditions, improve uh, and reverse atherosclerosis, he was talking about minimum 5 gram of uh, vitamin C plus five gram of uh, l lysine Okay, so this is this was his recommendation, but it's all in vain because it works so well, I would say, so well. Okay, why vitamin C is crucial for overall health? There is a little evidence that mega doses of vitamin C will cure uh, atherosclerosis. Again, it is official position of the medical care and my opinion on medical care. This is a business, this is a drug dealer. They, they are not interested to cure some uh, the atherosclerosis and the cardiovascular diseases because people die from mostly now from cardiovascular diseases. And why I will uh, talk about my in my presentation a little bit on because again uh, Linus Pauling was given very good advice in and uh, I personally every day I start my, my day from uh, about five gram of vitamin C in powder. And recently I added uh, lysin, also 5 gram or maybe 10 gram, or again, there is no, uh, no uh, maximum uh, uh, supplementation, the maximum, maximum intake, even 50 gram per day has no, uh, positive, no negative uh, adverse effect, no, nothing. So it works, you can take as much as you want. And it works, it works, so it's, it works to grow muscles, it, was, uh, it, it is working to improve health, etc, etc. Okay, wh why again it is interesting, because again, this theory was a long time ago, I will discuss it in my video, because uh, Linus Pauling was talking uh, mostly about uh, collagen uh, synthesis, production of collagen, uh, by uh, smooth uh, muscle cells in aorta, and by, by in skin it is fibroblasts, so it is indeed that time uh, the uh, five, uh, the mm, uh, this uh, most most research was was about collagen collagen and uh, but 
we have to go a little bit deeper and if we go deeper then we just go get more details about how the ascorbate and lysin works okay then just these versions were presented by artificial intelligence i will just read them quickly so ascorbates and lysin supplements have been studied for their potential impact on the elasticity of aorta yes this is again uh, uh, Linus Poling was talking about strength of aorta, that he was talking about this production of collagen. But really it is about elasticity of the aorta. So the, the cause of this um, uh, atherosclerosis is reduction in elasticity of the aorta. Okay, so uh, this elasticity of aorta is an important factor of, in cardiovascular health. The aorta is the largest artery in the body and is responsible for carrying oxygen-rich blood from the heart to the rest of the body. Research has shown that ascorbates, also known as vitamin C, can improve elasticity of the aorta. Yes, it was done. So, but again, no reference to Linus Pauling somehow. This is because vitamin C is an antioxidant that helps to protect cells in the artery walls from damage caused by the free radicals. Free radicals are unstable molecules that can cause oxidative stress, which can lead to inflammation and damage uh, to the artery wall. This explanation, I don't uh, uh, take it. I don't take it again. Vitamin C, yes, it is antioxidant, but it works mostly in the conditions of hypoxia. And the hypoxia in aorta, it is nonsense. Okay, that uh, vitamin C works different. Vitamin C um, ignite. Uh, uh, production of collagen and um, elastin fibers. Okay, next, uh, L uh, lysine is an amino acid that has been, been studied for its potential impact on the elasticity of the aorta. Research has so shown that L lysine can help to prevent the buildup of plaque uh, in the artery walls. Uh, in, as, as I was always talking, and uh, good to see that it is not on, not on the inside walls, but in the in the walls, so walls are getting thicker, so and uh, which can lead to atherosclerosis and reduced elasticity of the aorta. When taken together, ascorbates and lysine supplements may have a synergistic effect on the elasticity of the aorta. This is because vitamin C helps to protect the artery walls from damage, while lysine helps to prevent the buildup of plaque. Uh, overall, the research suggests that ascorbates and l supplements may be beneficial for maintaining the elasticity of aorta and promoting cardiovascular health. Okay, again, some details are controversial, some, again, the research and uh, the theory of presented by Linus Poling is not completely uh, precise, uh, the correct in details, but it works, it works, because uh, at least uh, these ideas were quite good, quite good, and it works. Okay, next, ascorbates, as known as vitamin C, are essential for production of collagen, a protein that gives skin its elasticity, about the elasticity of the skin. l lysine is an amino acid that is also involved in collagen production. Research has shown that ascorbates and l lysine may work together to improve skin elasticity. One study found that uh, combination of ascorbates and l lysine supplements improved skin elasticity in postmenopausal women. women. Uh, another study found, found that a topical cream containing ascorbates and l lysine improved skin elasticity in healthy adults. These supplements may be beneficial for those who are looking uh, to improve the appearance and health of their skin. Okay, elastin is a protein that is essential for the elasticity and resilience of tissues such as skin, blood vessels, and lungs. The production of elastin is primarily regulated by fibroblasts and smooth muscle cells. Ascorbates, also known as vitamin C, have been studied for their potential impact on elastin production by, by these cells. Research has shown that ascorbates can stimulate production of elastin by fibroblasts and <clears throat> smooth uh, muscle cells, okay, fibroblasts in skin and smooth muscle cells in aorta. This is because ascorbates play a critic, uh, crucial, crucial role in the synthesis of collagen, which is a key component of the extracellular matrix that supports the growth and development of these cells. Okay, this is, okay, but in addition to promoting collagen and elastin synthesis, ascorbates also ask, uh, act as antioxidants, protecting cells from oxidative stress and damage, 
This is important because oxidative stress can impair elastin production and lead to breakdown of existing elastin fibers. Again, this uh, relates to uh, oxidative stress in skin, not in the aorta, of course. Uh, studies have uh, also shown that ascorbates can enhance the activity of enzymes involved in elastin synthesis, such as uh, lysyl uh, hydroxylase and pro prolyl uh, uh, hydroxylase. It is these uh, enzymes; they are uh, they are necessary for production of uh, of mostly of uh, uh, production of uh, collagen, but. It looks like they, uh, it is not very much investigated. I was tried uh, to find information, more information, not much, not much. But again, uh, it looks like that the same uh, enzymes uh, can help uh, cross-linking of uh, elastin or pro, uh, uh, tro tropoelastin tropo pieces and to long chains and uh, improve elasticity. Okay, these enzymes are responsible for modifying collagen and elastin fibers, making them more stable and resistant to degradation. Okay, uh, even uh, the, uh, the, I got some references to journals, uh, which are not the best, not the new, not very new, but yet it is quite kind of help. Okay, again, revolution is coming. <laughs> Till now, uh, this artificial intelligence uh, represents a uh, very uh, compromised, uh, politically correct uh, version that if you are interested in official version what medical care uh, presents, yes, it, it will give you, uh, but if you will go more in details, if you will design prompts so that to ask for details, it, it can be of help, it can be of help. Not to mention that uh, the artificial intelligence can uh, rephrase paraphrase uh, your text and make it more readable and or simplify it uh, if you want so it is quite helpful so please comment subscribe like ask questions and share information uh, and again i will present my version which is takes me days and days and days of hard work to, uh, to understand to find out the, the, so very tiny bits of information about elastin because again uh, my vision of the aging is that we are aging very much because of stiffening of the extracellular matrix and there are two components in it one component is that elastin fibers are degraded and not produced uh, in all the age so to produce elastin fibers we need some quite efforts and uh, but it is possible and second, it is that uh, cross-linking of collagen fibers uh, leads to uh, stiff, stiff extracellular matrix. And in, in the stiff extracellular matrix and in the stiff uh, blood vessels, we, uh, the, uh, the state of hypoxia develops. And hypoxia, uh, in, in hypoxia during hypoxia, uh, this uh, reactive oxygen species are produced by mitochondria. And all the cycle, uh, self-supporting uh, vicious cycle, of degradation uh, starts and then exponentially uh, the senile degradation of the body happens and eventually we die. But again, if we, inter if we disrupt this cycle, if we know how to use some supplements or exercises or diet, then it is, it is reversible. Again, in my opinion and in my experience, what I see, it is not easy, it's absolutely not easy, but it is possible to reverse aging and also to uh, keep our bodies in a self-sustained uh, state so for long, maybe hundreds and hundreds of years and keep us uh, healthy and uh, with good cognitive abilities so we are, we, we can live forever <laughs> actually, oh, or, or maybe a thousand years, why not, why not? But of course, again, if you uh, ask GTP, uh, especially if you will design prompt, not going into details, but a little bit asking very simple questions. The so simple answer will be no, it is impossible. Okay, have a wonderful day. Please, uh, next time I will upload the presentation uh, which I, I am working on now. Okay, take care.